Hey guys, welcome back to episode 11 of Plants vs. Zombies. And now we're going to continue on with 5-4. And last time we lo left off, we looked at this stage's zombies counter. And we see a bunch of ladder zombies, some football zombies, and pogo stick zombies, which, oh, I just so really love. <laughs> I just <laughs> hate, I hate those pogo zombies. Those are just the dumbest thing. But, anyways, what we're going to be doing today is going to be going through this stage. I know this stage is a very long stage for the most part. It has four sections, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, we're going to be using those magnet shrooms. There's a lot of things that those magnet shrooms need to catch up. Like the helmets, the ladders, and the pogo sticks. So, let's see. I want to have... I want to have something good. Let's see. I don't know if I can have the pumpkins. I could use the ice guys though. Because I, because I have the coffee bean, um, I can use the beans themselves to wake up any mushroom or any nighttime um, item that is used only at night. Specific things like, like the magnet shrooms for instance. And the ice guys, and of course we can use we could use the the doom shrooms or stuff like that to kill. Actually, I didn't even. Oh shoot, I didn't even bring those squash this time around. Well, this is great. Yep, four stages. First stage flag, second stage flag, third stage flag, fourth. Okay, so. Oh great, yeah, this is a very this is gonna be a very long one. I have to say. I don't, it wouldn't surprise me if this took 10 minutes to complete this part. This one sub-level. And because of the fact that I forgot to bring those squash this time around, oh, this stage is going to take even longer than I think it's going to be. <clears throat> so yeah, today we're going to go through 5-4, probably go through 5-5. Five five, and then uh, we'll see how much more I can get through after that. Because I'm not sure how far... I'm not sure how long these stages are going to take. These stages are taking a lot longer now than they did at the very beginning. I was able to get through eight stages. Now I'm barely able to get through three or four. You know, so, Alright, so got rid of that. Now I need... Come on, more plants. Okay. Yeah, because I totally forgot about those stupid squash. I didn't even bring one for me. Uh, it just makes things that much more difficult. Okay, so... Come on, get rid of that. Yes, okay, good. Okay, so now I can take a little breather. The coffee bean is a fast recharger, and it is... Um, and it costs 75 sun to actually use. So, it's not too bad. If you need... If you really need the magnet shrooms, that's really the only thing I would say that should be... That's the only thing you should use the coffee bean for. Anything else? Well, actually, you could use it for the doom shrooms and stuff like that if you really wanted to. But, um, you should try to use the coffee bean for just those specific things. The doom shroom, the freeze shroom, and the magnet shroom. Everything else is kind of not worth it. <laughs> because it costs, you, it costs you the price of that item plus 75 to wake it up so and every time it gets destroyed you have to do that again so the coffee bean is not something I would recommend too often unless you really really need something that's gonna be helpful for that come on stop it hurry come on take it out there we go butter to the face <laughs> come on okay I think I'm good so far I'm gonna start using these these, uh, whatchamacallit, pumpkin heads to actually take out some of the stuff. Butter to the face! <laughs> More butter to the face. What happened to other, the other butter? I'm gonna put these sleeping guys here. Now, the good thing is, they do, you can't place them. They won't activate, only, they will only activate when you have the coffee bean put on them. So you can put them there to hold them for the, for now and then use them later for something else, you know. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this, just building everything up. And here's the coffee bean. Takes a little bit of time to activate and there we go. Magnus room is up. Okay, so I think I'm good for the most part. I just have to... I have to keep as many of these magnet shrooms as possible because anytime you have a ladder or something like that, you gotta you, you gotta get rid of those things. Let's 
see. Are there any of them gonna come up right now? I haven't seen anything yet, I just see a bunch of regular zombies. Oh shoot, get rid of that thing! There we go, okay. <laughs> okay, we're good now. Let's put the ice room there. If I need to stop everything at any time, just use the cocoa bean and it open up everything. Okay, I think I'm good so far. Wake up that up. Okay, we got a couple of good items now. I think we're good for the most part. I just have to avoid all these zombies now. Man, what in the world? Where was that butter coming from? <laughs> Did it just hit the smack the floor for some reason? I don't know. It just randomly appeared out of nowhere. Good. Stop that thing. There we go. Oh shoot. Okay, I think we're pretty good for the most part. We just have to keep shooting stuff at everything. Okay, and here comes our first ladder guy. Manga shoot, we're gonna get rid of that. And it's all a matter of time before he dies now. Come on. Come on, die. Yes. Okay, there we go. Butter to the face, butter to the face, times two. Okay. We're gonna use we're gonna use the pumpkins to try to protect as many plants as possible. Here comes another pogo guy. Get rid of that. Good. I think we have a pretty solid um, structure right now. We just have to eliminate all this, all the metallic things. Okay, come on. Get rid of all this stuff. I think we're good, though. For the most part. Throw that butter on that face. <laughs> oh, come on. Get rid of that. Oh, not quite enough. There we go. Uh, another one of those guys. The bad thing is those cone heads. They don't. Those are those are probably the strongest enemies of this stage, mainly because of the stupid ability to avoid the magnet shrooms. That really makes it. <sighs> Come on, kill it. Okay, wake it up. Stop everything. Put another one of those ice guys around there. Yeah, butter to the face. <laughs> Put that butter there. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Break that up. Grab one of these pumpkins. Use that. Okay, another wave of zombies. So our second wave. Second huge wave. Now we're on stage three now. Oh, come on. And braids, braids, braids. Yeah, right. <laughs> gonna fail. I'm waiting for those watermelons, those, those watermelons are going to be very helpful in stages like this. Where there's a lot of zombies coming out at the same time, you can hit multiple targets. Oh, come on. Stop eating my cabbage. Okay, yeah, eat that pumpkin. <laughs> oh, and that zombie lost his head. <laughs> bye bye Okay, so I think we're good. For the most part. I haven't seen it. Oh, actually, yeah, I've seen everything now. It's just all a matter of just stopping everything. I think we're gonna have to slow things down, though. Okay, slow it down. Oh shoot, it ate up my magnet room. Just stop everything. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's working now. Slowing everything and everybody down. Okay, that, that ladder's gone. That's good. Kill those zombies! <laughs> okay, another one of those ice guys. Get rid of that. Good. Wake up the magnet shroom. Put the box there. Put the pumpkin there. Stop it. Yeah. Butter to the face, like you always do. Okay, got rid of... It's all a matter of time before those football guys go down. Okay, the helmet's gone, and he's dead. Good. Come on! Why are you guys not killing him? <laughs> okay, come on. I hate these cabbage things. They're not strong enough against these cone heads. Okay, well I think I'm good now. They can only attack one thing at a time. That's the problem. Watermelons on the other hand, they can attack multiple things. So, and I don't think we're going to get watermelons until the very end. And we're almost at the next flag, so yeah. So we're actually going to turn up the ice very soon. Because I know that those are, there's those bungee guys that are going to come out of nowhere. Come on. I think now. 
Yes. Stop. <laughs> Freeze everything. Okay. We can also use the coffee bean again. Freeze everything. Okay. Good. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good for this stage. All those ice things really saved everything. Yeah. Just keep freezing everything. Oh, it's only a matter of time now, zombies. You're all dead now. <laughs> You're all re deadening <laughs> yourselves. Okay, so now we get a watering can. We're gonna need that for our Zen Garden, if I'm not mistaken. So, now you can play Zen Garden on, alright? You can find a watering can. In order to present your very own Zen Garden. Okay. Basically, what you do in the Zen, ga ga Zen Garden <laughs> is you uh, raise plants here. And you can grab a couple of coins for, you know, making them bigger or stronger. I mean, bigger. And you can sell them, too. We'll get to more of that later on some other time, you know. Once we're done with this section, though, we'll... Once, we, once we're done with this section, we'll move on to 5-5. Uh, five, five. Okay, I need fertilizer. Okay, so, of course, if you want to buy fertilizer, you can buy fertilizer, some plant, uh spraying thing and the record thing if they really want to. Okay, so these are a couple of marigolds. And we can't really do anything with them right now. Once we have them up to that specific once we have it up to that specific level, there's nothing else you can do. Because okay. non-stop bungee zombie zombie after bungee zombie. Okay. Alright, so here come those idiots now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Oh, joy. This one's going to be fun. Come on. Give me a pumpkin. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Come on. We're going to be using our purple, favorite purple plants that just eat everything. Oh, shoot. Wrong area. There's gonna be a lot of there. There's gonna be a lot of them. And when, he, when he does say that there's gonna be a lot, there is gonna be a lot. Just keep eating these zombies. We, yeah, we're gonna, only gonna have these purple guys to really work with. We're gonna have a couple of cherry bombs like right now, but we're gonna need to use. We're gonna save them as long as possible. Okay, so you keep those safe. We're gonna need them for later. Yeah, because most of the time that these purple plants, they're always in danger of getting hurt. Because once they finish, once they start eating, that's it, you know. So, oh shoot, I, I <laughs> shoot, I wasted one of those cherry bombs. Wrong place. Come on, get rid of that, because I don't have a plant to actually open up and eat that. Okay, eat that plant. Eat that, zombie. <laughs> He's so dead. Okay. Oh, jeez. So yeah, we're gonna be using a lot of purple plants this time around. That's the only thing that's gonna be used to defend these zombies. Okay, we're gonna put one there. Come on, chew them up. Okay, good. So far we're fine, I think. We're gonna use the pumpkins to protect those purple plants, too. No more of that. <laughs> oh my god. Aw. Aw, oh, the zombie turned to ash. <laughs> Come on. Give a give some give a fair fair fight, you know. Okay, well I think we're almost there. We're our next big wave soon. Okay. First wave of zombies is coming, alright. Oh <laughs> I hate this stage. I don't like this stage that much, but we do- remember, we do have our roof cleaners. Oh. Use- use these things here. Yeah, get rid of all that. Bye bye Yeah, <laughs> eat that ladder- ladder- ladder. <laughs> eat that ladder zombie. That one row is just hung- oh no, two rows are fully ready to eat something. And that purple plant just ate that zombie. <laughs> what a cannibal you are. Good. Eat that. <laughs> okay. Good. I think we're doing fine now. Yeah, chomp on that. 
Bye bye, zombie. I'm gonna use the purple plants. Ugh. Yeah, chomp on that. Oh, jeez. These purple plants are so slow, though. That's the one problem that I have a problem with having them. Yeah. <laughs> Ash. Just like you normally are. Got another. Oh, shoot. Lots and lots of stuff. Eat that. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good now. Right now, at least. Oh, jeez. What? Did you just see that? It just went over it. Eat that. Okay, well, I got another one here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, that was like five. Three or five and then just disappeared. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's so many zombies. Eat these zombies. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, chew on those. This might be a time to use one. Oh, shoot. Yeah, get rid of those. Okay, I think we're at our next target now. Use the cherry bomb here. Get rid of those. <laughs> There's like three of them in one spot. Ah, oh, stupid ladders. I hate the, those stupid things. And more, more plants. Bye-bye. Get rid of those. We're gonna need as many of these plants as possible. Ah, oh, jeez. Eat one of them. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, eat that pale zombie. Oh. oh, that's not good. Well, one of those is gonna go away. It's all a matter of time, though. It's just gonna take some time to get... For the zombies to eat all the pumpkins, and it's, it's gonna take time for these purple plants to eat them, so... That's why the stage takes forever. Aw, oh, shoot. Good. And like I said, we have our roof cleaners. I think we're gonna be good, though. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there's our new item, the garlic. That, actually, that item actually is, um... It's not that bad of an item, actually, the garlic. And we got a new enemy. We have a basketball throwing zombie. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I hate those things too. But there's a specific plant that will help you against those basketball shooters, so. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing. That's the only real main enemy here, this one. Besides the throwing zombies. Yeah. But besides the dropper zombies. And also. We don't need, uh, we actually don't need any metal things today, on this stage. We could use the squash. I'm gonna use the garlic, though, for this stage, because what we can use the garlic for is funneling zombies into one section, you know. We can have a whole row of, you know, those sunflowers in one section, and then you can have the, uh, what is it called, the garlic to move the zombies to another lane. So if you use it on the sides, they have to move to a row that's actually available. So they have, if it's on the top row, if you put a garlic there on the top row, then they move down. They have to move down. They cannot move in. They cannot move up. And on the bottom, they have to move up. They can't move down. So if you use the garlic in a, in a good way, you can actually funnel all the enemies through the middle section of the board. So, alright, so let's just take care of this now. Now, and this time I did remember to bring the squash, because that actually speeds up things a lot, for me at least. You do have to be careful though, because sometimes if you have multiple garlic at the same time, I mean, if you have the pole vaulters, remember that they do jump over the first thing that they have, so... This stage doesn't have the pole vaulters, so you don't have to worry about that, but on stages with pole vaulters, put two garlic next to each other, you know, to avoid all that. Let's see. I think I'll just put the garlic right there. I need one row, though, for that basketball, guys, so. And bye bye <laughs> And he squashed like a... Squashed into a thin line of nothingness. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's... And this stage has two flags, okay. Well, this, sh this shouldn't be too hard, though, I don't think, at least. 
Okay. Bye bye. So here comes the first garlic eating. Second garlic actually. Wow. So he eats it, moves over to another lane. Which could be very helpful. Funneling enemies, so keeping them out of certain areas. Like that. Okay, so I think we're okay now. For the most part. And get rid of him. Good. We need to have a garlic on the other side, so that way we have a little bit more room on that. So... Ah, oh, jeez. I hate these... These, uh... These, whatever they're called. These cabbages. Oh. Cabbages. <laughs> what are they called? Cabbages. Come on, hit him. Ah, oh, jeez. That, that corn's gonna get eaten. Yeah, there we go. Good. <laughs> Stop him. Doesn't it doesn't stop him for very long though. That's the only wow. problem. Oh jeez, hurry. Okay, grab some of that. Let's see. There's a certain there's a couple stages where garlic is a very good idea to use. And there's other stages which they are not very helpful. So oh, I'll just try my best to work with all this stuff here. Come on, get rid of that zombie. Get rid of him. Actually, it's okay if he eats that. I don't really care. I'm gonna use the- like I said, I'm gonna use the middle three rows to shoot as much cabbage as possible. Because they are the fat- they are the strongest things that I have to work with right now, at least. Come on, get rid of that cabbage. Come on, get rid of that stuff. It's only a matter of time, come on. Come on! Kill that- yes, okay. There we go. I think we're doing fine now. Okay, put that there. Let's see. Ah, uh, yay, yay. This is a little slow. <laughs> Come on. Move faster. Okay, good. Okay, I think we're, we're almost. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that little tiny corn took out a zombie. <laughs> Okay. Blah, blah. So I think our middle section looks really good and solid right now. Just need a couple more of those guys, and that would be good. Then we have our whole row of sunflowers. We do need a couple of those guys in case we have a bungee or one bungee or two that falls in that middle section, in that far section. But as of right now, we're okay with everything else, I think. Butter to the head and dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on. Oh, here comes our first uh, catapult zombie. Eliminate him <laughs> with the chili pepper, and he turned into ash as well as his car too. Should have exploded though, technically. Okay, well, I think we're good now. Yeah. Okay, so. I use the use the whatever those things are. I don't think the pumpkin those protect the pumpkin uh, shields. They don't protect against those uh, basketball zombies. So we just need them just in case something happens. Okay. Let's see. I think we're good. I think we're good for the most part. We just have to keep hitting. Gotta keep hitting stuff and getting all the way to the end of this flag. I think this will be the last stage because these stages were quite long. Okay. We got some chili peppers. We got some... We got some good things happening right now. Get rid of him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just die, zombies. You can't win anyways. You haven't won yet at all, so... Okay, good so far. Where are those bun where are those basketball guys though? I thought there was gonna be more in this stage. There was only one. Oh sorry. Stupid thing. <laughs> playing around with the <laughs> playing around with the screen is not a good idea. I'm gonna remove the I'm gonna remove that middle section of um, sunflowers. Okay, come on. See, nothing's happening. <laughs> nothing's happening except just cabbage throwing at everybody. Okay, good. And our next, our last wave of zombies is coming. Oh 
great. Probably a couple basketball guys will be in this section this time around. Where are they? Second row? Okay. <laughs> well, just eliminate them. Yeah, there we go. And notice too that there you have that one stupid zombie in that section. That was dumb. I hate that. Oh, come on. Good. Got rid of them. Oh, shoot. Oh, stop it. Stop it! Just die already. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and he died when he ate the garlic. <laughs> okay, this should be very much longer now. One more to go. There we go. And one of those guys. And those are the guys that actually protect against uh, the basketball. Umbrella leaves. And we'll use them in the next stage, probably. So, yeah. I guess I'll stop for here today. Next stage is pretty much the same. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next time, we'll continue on with 5-7. See you guys later. Take care. Bye.